Mm. Let's talk to this girl. What are you carrying there? Not for sale. Or eating. Don't steal! Go away! Oh, I, I didn't mean to upset you. Oh. What is it for, then? Where did you get this? I'm not a thief. A man in the tavern promised me a bread crust if I fetch this from the market for him. I'm just taking a little break. You look hungry. Are you saying I should keep it? Nuh-uh. Thieves get hanged. I'll be good. Yep. Uh, oh, of course. Don't, uh, don't steal. Do you have a family that supports you? My auntie sold flowers, but she couldn't afford to pay the taxes. Now I don't know where she is. Uh -oh. I'm so hungry. I guess she knows where the tavern is. Where can is. I find the lion and lamb? That's a tavern. In the tavern district. I would point you in the right direction, but... But... I have both my hands full, so I can't really point. I see. <laughs> Makes sense, I guess. Why is there a district called Tavern District? All of these are going to be taverns? Taverns only? What's the point? What's the goddamn point? Oh, there's an alley here. Oh, there's a lot of entrances and exits. Which is really weird. Yeah, I'm going to check them out before I uh, go to the, to, to the tavern section. No, okay, what's the, what was the point? <laughs> what was the goddamn point? What about the alley? Uh, maybe people are going to try and uh, catch us? We're going to be able to try and flee or something? Maybe. Okay. I guess now we know... Uh, how we can avoid uh, people, if need be. Alright, let's uh, head to the Tavern District. Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> Where's uh, Sir Catface? The town drunk. Gazes uh, into the fire. More absent-minded than usual. How do you know? Lavish shield. A payment left uh, in uh, desperation? Oh. No crest I recognize. Everyone gets uh, one of these days. Everyone gets one these days. Damn, these guys are having fun! <laughs> Rarely a see wine outside the, uh, of church. Taverns must have uh, a few rich patrons. Sir Catface has always had a taste uh, for it, too. A uh, quiet patron. How long have they been here? What are they waiting for? Seems lost uh, in thought. Uh, where's Sir Catface? Joy is a rare sight today. Uh, must be the drink. <laughs> and despair. The taverner. Taverns used to be uh, well visited. Uh, one could barely uh, find a seat. There were many more patrons. That's a mug. Are we gonna steal it? How often has it been uh, filled today? There's stairs. Lead to guest rooms and other luxuries. Mm -hmm. I wonder how many guests uh, can afford this. Oh, that's, uh, Catface, Simmond, and Alonzo. Sir Alonzo de uh, Toledo. Some compare his uh, swordplay to dance. A competent ally. Sir Simmond of Stapleford. Around Richard's age. Oh. Or supposed to, supposed to be. Is it really? Or can we actually uh, save Richard? It seems like this dialogue means that... Uh, kind of hints that Richard is alive. Why would she bring uh, Richard's age? 
I really wonder if that's a thing. Like, is the game actually having some sort of a liberty on uh, controlling the events or some or something like that? I really wonder. Here he is, drinking and uh, bragging to lift his spirit uh, before the battle. All right, let's uh, keep him for last few years. Let's go ahead and interact with the uh, uh, other things around here. With the drunkard. I don't have time to deal with drunks. I don't have time to deal with drunks. What about this I one? I hope I won't need to carry a shield. Already carrying a goddamn dagger. I'm leaving the battlefield to the knights. The taverner makes money with each tankard he sells. And with each tankard, his customers are more willing to buy. Well, high-quality wool makes me merry as well. Probably, uh, taverns, uh... Gonna have more successful business than... Than wools. I would assume, at the very least. I have to give money to my knight. Yeah, we're not gonna give it to, to anyone else. Why I would you suggest that? I don't have reason to disturb them. Why are you suggesting that we're gonna give them money or I've something? Seen enough sorrow. So, uh, this is sorrow, huh? These guys are, uh, just sad. That sucks for them. Hmm. Uh... Let's talk to the taverner. How's business? Slow. Well, at least you still have your regulars. Even in bad times, people drink. The Earl of Shire Inn has imposed new laws and taxes, and it makes times very bad for us. Well, that means less coins uh, thrown on uh, in these places, I guess. But at least you're, uh, I guess, uh, you know, beer can cannot go bad. Right? What's your secret to success? You know, running a tavern. People will give their last shirt for pleasant distractions. Especially when they have a lot they want to be distracted from. Hmm. We cannot do that with wool, though. <laughs> Would you like to order? Thank you, but I'm just here to see Sir Catface and his men before the battle. Would you like to order? Thank you, I guess that's that. We cannot talk to the lady. All right. Let's see what these guys are singing about. No right thoughts enliven me while my stomach's hollow. You hear? <laughs> Fill us up. With beer? You haven't had a right thought all day. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll be the next Earl then. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna happen, buddy. <laughs> oh, that's awful. <laughs> Do you ever work? The Earl burned down the old man's mill. No oh, shit. <laughs> no mill, no work. <laughs> no work means no money. <laughs> That's a hint. Don't uh, serve him uh, any more beer. Yeah. <laughs> Nasty. Wonder if I can uh, steal this mug. I'm not thirsty. I didn't buy it. Is it full? Uh, that belongs to the tavern. Nobody, nobody knows. Nobody knows. I don't think we'll, uh, we're gonna get upstairs. It's for guests only. There is nothing of interest up there. I'm not staying the night. Well, I guess, uh... That's that. Uh, I'm gonna assume that if we start uh, talking to any of them, we're gonna start uh, talking to, to Sir Catface. Any new information on Maud's army, Sir Alonso? Brother of Gloucester will bring the Angevin. There are said to be a thousand men. But Stephen will bring more, and we'll be with him to lead the charge. 
Mm. Does Robert of Gloucester have skilled men fighting for him? Oh, ho, ho, let's hope so. Damn. Victory and glory will be ours, one way or another. Are you ready for the battle? It's my duty to be ready. Good. He's probably thinking about the upcoming battle. He's probably... Okay, I guess that's that. What about Simond? I hear you will face Empress Maud's army, Sir Simond. We will do battle on the beautiful grounds of the illustrious Lincoln Castle. Don't say it like that. She'll think we're just going there for the landscape. Ah, but what a magnificent picture it makes. Oh, just don't let yourself get distracted by the beauty, Sir Simmond. As you won't be there, I'm hopeful that I can focus on directing my blows at the enemy, my lady. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> smooth, kind of smooth. I gotta be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready for the battle? I'm very excited. I don't care if we win or fall as long as it's in the name of the king. Hmm. What a glorious way to die. <laughs> I'll remind you of these bold words when you lie in a pool of your own blood. And piss. And piss and shit. You <laughs> You're going to be there to watch me, right? <sighs> Yes. Any other sights along the way? We'll ride through the King's Forest. The crowns of the trees are especially lush this time of year. If you wouldn't always insist on the scenic route, we would arrive much quicker where we are supposed to be. Mm, I shouldn't distract him anymore. He needs to focus on the battle ahead. Nah, he's gonna focus on the scenery. Uh, and the scenery, uh, you know, definitely uh, Sir Catfrey is painting, painted uh, uh, a little bit of rougher scenery with him in a pool of uh, his own blood, piss and shit! Mm, I shouldn't destroy. Alright, let's uh, start talking to uh, Sir Catface. Today we ride for Lincoln. The drinks are on me. Woo! That's my money, though, I think. Taverner, another round for the whole place. <laughs> You're the best, Gilbert. Ooh, well, I guess that's how uh, people are drinking, it's I guess. Sir Catface. Nonsense. We're all brothers, right? Indeed we are. Wonderful. Brothers in arms, we are. And here I thought you needed my money for new armor. Oh, I do. What's a knight without a mighty sword? I saw Alonso's when he was bathing in a river. Dios mio. Dios mio. All jokes aside, with men at arms so well equipped, how can I face <laughs> King Stephen with anything less? And inferior armor may cost him his life. <laughs> Only the best for the best. How much do you need? Could you be more uh, responsible with my money? Uh. I mean, there's nothing that we can do, so. And how much do you need? I need enough for armor. Weapons, provisions, and other odd expenses. Mm, beer? Uh, no. How much is necessary? None of it is necessary. <laughs> we will fight naked to shock our enemy into submission. <laughs> Swinging, uh, your own sausages? Do you want William Hamley to become Earl of Shiring, or your son? What kind of question is that? If we're lucky, then he will never return from the Holy Land. 
He already did. What? It had been a short battle. Robert of Gloucester's men had lost. At first, I wasn't sure who that knight was. He wore the cross. He must be a crusader, I thought. Damn. No. Don't do it. Please. Have mercy. My God, please. Shh. Don't. Then I heard our king calling out his name. William Hamley, join me. We ride. I didn't want to upset you. You what? We owe it to everyone to put this monster down. Not only to your father. William Hamley is a madman. Uh, he definitely seems Mind so. Mind your tongue. You speak of the son of Yellow Shiring. I pledge my loyalty to Bartholomew and his family, and there it shall remain. Percy Hamley has no right calling himself Earl. The son of Lady Aliena will be the heir to Shiring. Bartholomew went against our king and lost his title and his lands. It's not wise to pledge your sword to a dead traitor. What did you just say? Not oh, easy. You backstabbing turncoat. Uh-oh. Calm down. Do you want to slaughter each other and help the enemy? <laughs> Accusing me of treason. You most royal man at arms. It's me or the Hamleys. Pick a goddamn side. Hmm. Maybe I can get them to stop quarreling. Uh is that gonna be an issue later on? Now, now this you guy seems me sad. The truth. I've always been your most royal man at arms, have I not? In actions may be, but your words tell a different story. Whoa. I'm just trying to keep you grounded. How dare you defend that backstabber Percy Hamley and his blonde bastard of a son? Blonde bastard? Percy Hamley's title is a fact, not an opinion. That's it true. It is not, and he does not deserve it. This is not about who deserves what. The king appointed him. You should come to terms with that fact. What did you just say? Oh no. I'd rather talk to my horse than listen to your insults. <laughs> huh, very much you. What did that? What, what did he call him? Huh. What the hell did you call him? <laughs> Something in Spanish. Definitely not a good word. Do you want to say something? No, I don't. All right. I guess uh, we're gonna have to to make these couple. Uh, I don't know. Make up. Can't we just forget about it? Make up and kiss. Never. Somehow. I uh, wonder if joining them is gonna do the trick. <laughs> Taking the mug and just joining them. Uh, let's talk to Simmons. Do they often fight like that? Ah, oh, they're both very proud. Give them a few days, they'll get tired. They don't have that long. Uh, kind of useless, Simmons. <laughs> You do something. I'm probably more lost than you are. He doesn't know what to do either. <sighs> he doesn't know what. Mm. Do you want to say something? He doesn't know. No, I don't. I doubt that would help to stop their quarrelling. Uh, the mug. Maybe a drink will help them to relax. I thought you were drinking with hey, them would the definitely. Next round is on me. Ah, perfect. You get me down to the same level with that worm, Alonso. You are too proud and too stubborn. Remember the time we stumbled around the royal forest for hours just because you wouldn't admit you got us lost? 
We saw a beautiful herd of deer at that crossing, though. We had to make sure there were no outlaws hiding there. Oh, the drink only kindles the flames. Well, Can't I guess. We just forget about it. I guess uh, that yeah. makes sense, huh? <laughs> uh. Maybe some whores? <laughs> that won't help. Uh, talking to Alonzo maybe would help. An apology would solve this. Oh, ah! I'm sorry. You see, there's nothing to it. I said nothing wrong. <sighs> apology? Oh, are you an idiot? Uh... <laughs> Do you want to say something? <laughs> No, I don't. Are you an idiot, Eliana? This is some, uh, some alpha male shit. Just think of the battle you will have to fight together. I'm thinking of my dignity. <sighs> I can't talk can't sense just forget to him. about it. Never. I can't talk. It's your cat face. I collected our earnings, the cat face. Ah, finally someone I can rely on. <sighs> Can't believe this. Try to uh, reconcile them first, yeah? I'm sorry, but I can't let you go into war arguing like this. We're gonna go either way. <sighs> yeah, I guess we're gonna have to try and... Uh, you know... Help them uh, make up uh, and kiss, I guess. Uh. Maybe uh, showing these guys. That would help to stop their quarreling. Maybe showing uh, Do you want these guys how they're, uh, no, I you know, don't. how they're friendly with each other. It's gonna help. So that's not. That won't help. Yeah. So yeah. Still, the uh, drinking is not gonna help. Just forget about it. How would you solve a quarrel like the one over there? Everyone has their own way of coping with aggression. Food, gambling, or solace in the arms of a wench. <laughs> Luckily for me, most resort to drinking. I doubt that'll work here. Don't say that too loud. Try this. What the hell? A flat bread soaked in dark sauce. Simple, but rich in flavor. Mm. Damn. Kinda hungry now. <laughs> Kinda wanna eat something. Uh, all right. The taverner gave this to me. I don't want to ruin his business by giving it away for free. Um, give it to... Give it to Alonso. Do you want to say something? No, I don't. If they're hungry, they can order food. What? I guess I'm gonna have to- Even if he was hungry, he wouldn't admit it. Why, uh... Can't we just forget about it? Never. Ah, oh, meat! Maybe I can bring them uh, meat. Trade this uh, with the girl outside. I doubt that would- Hmm, maybe, yeah, maybe it's gonna, uh, the girl's gonna help me. Uh, that won't help. <sighs> I doubt that. Hmm, yeah, I might as well give it a try. Actually go give this to the girl, maybe? Would you like something to eat? I only accept food from Meg. She's a tradeswoman. And the food others throw at me is rotten. But she gives me good food. Meg is one of my best friends. Oh, yes? Then I accept. I'm so hungry. Uh, okay. Can you give me the goddamn meat? You're so nice. How can you afford giving some girl a whole slice of bread? I'm a tradeswoman. Oh. When I grow up, I'll leave Shiring and make lots of money too. So when I return, Auntie doesn't have to worry about bad men asking for money anymore. Bad men? Very bad men. 
In what way they're bad? Don't you think you should take that meat to its owner? Yes, I must. Just need a little break. Time to catch my breath. The cheese stole, uh, stole that. Uh... How would you settle a fight? If you're in trouble, run. <laughs> oh, but they're usually friends. Running wouldn't help. Then let them play a game to decide who's right. <laughs> Good idea. Okay, maybe a game will help uh, to stop their quarreling. I thought I'm gonna have that uh, meat. <laughs> so they uh, can actually, you know. Do you have any games? Um, not with me. How about you and your friends play hide and seek? Though the sheriff doesn't like that, so better not. <laughs> Thank you for the warning. Do you have any games? Um, how about you? Though the sheriff doesn't. <laughs> hmm. I guess we're gonna have to try and find some games. Ask around, I guess. Mm, no, that's not the kind of game the girl was talking about. Uh, probably I can ask the, uh, the taverner. The taverner. No games here. Do you have any games with you? We carry the French game of Fierge with us. What's oh, that? Could I borrow it? If you bring it back before nightfall, I see no harm in it. I, I will. What the hell is a Fierge? Fierge, a French board game. Richard and I used to play it. Huh. Well, I guess we managed to get uh, to get this. Uh, is it like checkers? Definitely looks like checkers. Maybe this will help. All right, let's go ahead and try. Uh, we just forget about it. The game here. Never. Ugh. Shut up, Catface. Now fight it out like real knights should. With a battle of wits. Playing a board game, uh, I don't know. What? What? You scared? Oh, let's begin. <laughs> now. Let's take it nice and slow. Be aggressive. Be e aggressive. Mm. Good choice. The general who gives in to anger will send his troops to their deaths. Damn right. If you thought I'd make myself vulnerable this early, think again. Ooh, well played. A classic opening move. Well, well, look who's opened up a weak spot. Now is a very good time to attack. Hmm. <laughs> Be quick, I guess, take your chance. Oh, sometimes victory lies in numbers, but often it lies in a single soldier at the right spot, right? My thoughts exactly. Here I come. <laughs> oh. You reached the end of the board. Did you see that crowning? Guess I have a king by my side now. Hmm. You call this piece a king? In Spain, we call it a queen. She's quite powerful and has a mind of her own. A queen, then? Like Lady Aliena. She can lay waste to the whole board. Damn. Don't be hasty. The highest art of war is to break the enemy without a fight. 
Um, hmm. I might as well end him right now. I've got the queen on my side. It's time to go on a rampage. When the sovereign has been claimed, the game is almost decided. Am <sighs> Alonso's losing? Fight to the last piece. But a good commander has foresight, and I can see this game is lost. I admit defeat. Ah, oh, you ended this before it even began. Even a scribe would struggle making this an epic of glory. This was about strategy, not showmanship. And it seems like Lady Aliena is an excellent strategic advisor. You work exceptionally well together. <laughs> he never makes compliments like this. He's the tactician. I trust his instincts and experience to guide him. But you yourself are an exceptional diplomat and businesswoman, I hear. You compliment each other in the way you think. We certainly do. If you are wise enough to trust this queen's instincts in these matters, my friend, you too will indeed be able to take back the Eldom. <laughs> <laughs> you are damn right she can. So, can I rely on your loyalty? You can. Of course, we're brothers in arms. <laughs> Good. You've an important battle ahead of you. I'll bring you the money. All right, I guess that that fixed it, huh? Uh, we took uh, the board uh, back, and we, uh, we have to make sure to give it back to the monks. Uh, give him the money. Give him less money than Philip. Uh, I cannot cancel out as well. Uh, war is costly. A sight for sore eyes indeed. Thank you, Lady Aliena. Now our enemies won't stand a chance. What is all this good for? Why are you putting yourself in danger? For you. It was your father's wish that you take back the Earldom from Percy Hamley. How do you know that? For victory! For victory! For victory! I see. I wish you the best of luck. I'll be at the marketplace giving Philip his part of the money. And make more money, I reckon. Well, hopefully. There's still money left, but it's uh, not mine to keep. Well, I guess we managed to... Uh... We managed to... well, how do you say it? To make up, uh... On Kiss, I guess. Let's talk to them, see what they Good have luck. to say. <laughs> it's not about luck. It's about making the right decisions. And a sharp sword. And a good armor. I should leave them to it. I... Please, try to keep them from fighting. <laughs> uh, that's a big task for a slender man like me. You're a knight, for God's sake. <sighs> I hope they'll be alright. <sighs> Return safely. Do not worry, my lady. I wonder if he ever worries about losing his life out there. I wonder if he ever... I guess that's uh, the life of a soldier, huh? Alright, so... We... Um, we managed to fix uh, this uh, problem. Let's get the... Uh, let's get back.
Whoa. That is definitely interesting. Let's give these uh, back to the monks. Before we get back to Philip. You've done me a great favor. We are glad to hear it. Thank you for returning it. We always pass the time on our travels trying to best each other. Hmm. All right, well. Uh, uh, that was that, I guess. All righty, let's uh, just head back to the marketplace. Why is this guy still here? Fabrics, good fabrics. Get them before the Earl does. The fleeces used to be bigger. Uh, let's just talk to Philip normally. You don't have to wait with me. Why don't you go and have a look around? Let's give him the money. Here. Oh, thank you. But I no, had hoped for more, I have to admit. The things to come. Oh, it's a cat face. He needs more money for the battle. You're choosing war we'll over renewal. To, lead us to, to avoid further tragedy in the future, Philip. Ah, I see. I had similar hopes once. Our hmm. It should be enough to keep our workers around until I have solved our problems with Percy Hamley. But Tom said that without stone and timber, we will have to stop construction in a month. You must speak to the Earl. Have you finished your business? Uh, I would assume so. Yeah. So, uh, what the, did he mean by that? Like, uh, <laughs> because we gave more, more money to Mr. Catface? Uh, you know, to try and keep, you know, be at a powerful uh, spot, hopefully to, uh, to prevent it in the future? Does he mean that vi violence will b will breed violence uh, regardless? Hmm. Anywho, let's uh, finish uh, this section of the game. Yes. Glad to hear it. Philip, I now understand why our market at Kingsbridge has had more visitors lately. Shiring isn't what it used to be. Steep taxes and strict laws have taken their toll on the town. Is that so? How many of you have fallen from These merchants would give anything to do their business at another fleece fair, but there's none nearby. They need a place with fair taxes. One that can put those taxes to good use. Are you thinking of a fleece fair in Kingsbridge? Call in the monk and the woman he's with. You! Impatient monk! Impatient monk. It's your turn. The girl, too. Me? What? Did you want me to come with you? No. We're not first in line, are we? Well, lucky you, then. Get moving. <clears throat> Uh-oh. Hopefully that's not gonna... gonna cause any trouble. Ah. Uh, that's William! The Earl of Shiring. What happened to Percy? Thank you for hearing me, old Percy. Please That's... allow me to introduce my friend, Aliena of Kingsbridge. That's not Percy. I knew it was you. <gasps> oh, it doesn't sound like you missed me. I demand to talk to the Earl of Shiring. He is he the Earl of Shiring. His word. You are talking to the Earl of Shiring. Oh, this that's Wallerin! The enemies of this earldom have taken Percy Hamley from our midst. Mother! Oh, shit! His mom, too? Do you consider yourself a friend of the Earldom of Shire, Philip? Friend? That damn monk is drinking the blood of my Earldom! It is not for us to damn them, Lord William. 
but judge them we must. Uh oh. Your parents had an agreement with King Stephen. You're a thief. You both are. You once told me that I was a beast. Then it should not surprise you that I don't take as kindly to thieves as my father did. Shiring is changing. <laughs> what crimes did we commit then? The king has never licensed a market in Kingsbridge. Your market is illegal, Philip. You are stealing my taxes by allowing my people to trade in your sorry priory, and you disrespect my authority! Uh-oh. Is that true, Philip? I... I will talk to the king about this. You and your friends have always played by your own rules. But not anymore. Fracture for fracture? Eye for eye? Tooth for tooth. The days of Kingsbridge Cathedral are over. Son of a bitch! Now leave. The next time I will show no mercy. Ah, uh, that's not good. That's not good at all! Oh, chapter 11 concluded. The new Earl. Eliana was, uh... uh was a support and inspiration uh, to a young uh, delivery uh, girl. Eliana solved the sale conflict to her own advantage. Eliana showed good skill as a merchant. Eliana gave Sir Catface more money than Philip. Eliana and Sir Catface made uh, a fantastic team. Eliana returned uh, the uh, board game to the rightful owners, the monks. Eliana helped Philip to pay his workers early. We didn't have more money, though. Walrin and William, the new Earl, declared Philip's market illegal. Oh, there's not... If there's not gonna be a market, there's not gonna be... Money flowing, then. That's a big problem. Oh, boy. I had assumed that as long as the market was held within the walls of the Priory and the taxes supported the construction of our cathedral, Kingsbridge would need no market license. I had made a foolish mistake. Now I had no option but to call on King Stephen for help. And as Aliena suggested, I joined the knights on their way north to Lincoln. Oh. I guess that's uh, our only uh, option at the moment. Actually, trying to to go, to, uh, f you know, to reach the king as fast as possible. Uh, but uh, the king is—I uh, don't think the king is gonna help us. Oh, uh, we have one uh, path uh, in front of us. Travel with the knights. More and more men joined our group. Most of them had no horses and no weapons to speak of. As King Stephen prepared for his final battle against Robert of Gloucester, he had ordered all able men of his earldoms to fight in the north. Not even weapons. Then, at nightfall, our group reached a large camp of Stephen's men. Go to sleep? Uh... Let's walk around. Many men asked me to pray with them. They were husbands, fathers, and children about to fight in a war that most of them did not understand. It was then that I witnessed Aliena's knight, Sir Catface, shouting at a man. The man was in tears, saying he did not want to fight and begging to be allowed to go home. Uh, are we gonna have a... A choice here? Do not interfere! 
We cannot inter interfere. Admonish Sir Catface. Do not interfere. Sir Catface shouted at the man and told him deserters would be hanged by yep. the king. Yep. The man stared at him for a long while and then started shouting infamities about Robert of Gloucester and began to laugh. Catface and his knights joined in and began to cheer for the king. Mm, I guess, ma'am. <laughs> uh, I guess that problem fixed itself. <laughs> I realized how ruthless the reign of each of these earthly lords was and prayed that my own lord would protect all of us and guide us in these dark times. Well, nothing else to do other than just go to sleep. After a long first day on my way to Lincoln, I found a place to rest. I fell asleep soon and dreamed about soldiers. But these soldiers were not on their way to Lincoln. They had come up the twisting hillside path to our little hamlet in North Wales. My brother Francis and I had tried to outrun them and to warn my parents. But as always when I had this dream, we were too late. Ah, uh, that's uh, what uh, Francis wanted to talk about, and uh, Philip didn't want to talk about that? How their parents died? King Henry's men had killed Mam and Da. Abbot Peter came to take us in, just as it had happened so long ago. But this time, in my dream, something was different. I was six years old then, and Abbot Peter had not yet taught us about God. But still, I asked the monk the question, why did God do that? I had said that. It had been my voice answering the child. Oh shit. It was me. I was responsible for the fate of these children, Richard and Eliana. As I tried to calm them, I realized the blood of their father was still on my hands. I awoke with a start. It was as if my dream had not been a warning, but a reminder. I had sinned and I had to atone for my sins. I prayed that I would be able to help those that had already suffered by my hand, and all of Kingsbridge. Damn, he still, uh... feel like he was responsible for what happened, huh? Alright, uh... One last stop? I guess that's gonna be the last stop. Right to Lincoln. After what felt like an eternity, the sun rose and we continued on our way to Lincoln. As we moved, I remembered hearing that Bishop Waleran had been to Rome and William had fought in the Holy Land. Mm -hmm. I told myself that King Stephen would eventually see these men for what they really were. He had to. And I tried to convince myself that God would make things right. It is going to be hard to convince the king of that, that's for sure. It's gonna be hard. I don't think he can do that, actually. Meanwhile, you are late. 